So I just saw a video that I didn't think would put me in a state of tears. But let's this is tr trigger warning: eating disorder slash binge eating slash force feeding. Okay, this is why I follow people like Dope Kitchen and always tell everyone to worry about their own bodies because you truly never know. What is Dope Kitchen? Okay, it's uh. This is oh, that's inappropriate. Okay, well, anyway. let's talk about it. I actually, got into a fight with like a mother of nine okay. about this on TikTok like last January. I'm gonna bring it up again. Forcing your kids to finish everything on their plate before they get up from the dinner table or eat foods they don't like before they can get up from the dinner table is a form of trauma. She goes. It's the fucking dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, okay, here's what I'll say. My mother taught me to finish my plate. So, like, it's a reason why I feel the need to always finish eating every bit of food I put on my plate. And so, like, that has created a toxic eating habit. But worse than that isn't that I eat too much food. It's that I don't move around enough. Because, honestly, we live in a technology age where, like, exercise isn't something that's encouraged. Um, I used to be 330 pounds, really, really physical fit, physically fit. Like, it's more about, like, the, that's one of the things we don't take into consideration. We talk a lot about unhealthy foods, which exists for sure. We don't talk about how we live in a society nowadays that encourages laziness. Uh, video games are a really big hobby, uh, and people just, like, kind of sit down all day, and they just watch TV. And I'm not saying that that's not a good, it's not great that we have this awesome technology, but, like, we haven't talked about that being a major problem. Because you can eat. A pound of sugar but if you're if you're outside running all day and you're burning through that because sugar is a very quick quickly like a burn through quickly kind of an energy resource it really isn't going to matter um so yeah i, I but like you know teaching your kid to finish their food it's teaching i mean not for nothing but a lot of times especially when she said like oh it's a form of abuse to tell your kid to eat food that they don't like but, like, kids don't really like broccoli or asparagus or vegetables. So you kind of have to force your kid to eat the right foods. I mean, it's literally your job as a, as a parent to force your children to do things in general. You have to force your kids to get out of bed or they'll sleep all day. You got to force your kids to go to sleep or they'll stay up all night. You got to force your kids to eat vegetables or they're going to fucking be malnourished. You have to force your kids to eat in general. Did you know that if you don't if your kid doesn't eat that you are you get charged with child abuse <laughs> like that's that is what's going on kids are snotty little dicks right you have to force your kids to wipe their ass could we live imagine living in a world where you didn't force your kids to do anything they would have ass rash i'm not even kidding you'd have a rash in your butthole that's that's you have to literally tell, force your kid force your kids to do homework go to school kids would be really dumb if we didn't force them to do the right thing so like fundamentally that woman is very, very ignorant. Goes on to say how this will cause poor relationships with food and eating disorders into adulthood. The reason why I is she crying though? Taking is because doctors to this day don't believe me when I say I have a weird relationship and a poor relationship with food because my grandmother did. And I'm 29. I can go days without food because I've had such bad pains and stomach problems that form because of meds and force feeding. Doctors make it worse. My mother is my only supporter who understands. I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm not necessarily believing that this person goes days without food i'm not trying to be an asshole here but you know that's just a i feel like that's you know if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck you know what i mean like i if would anybody believe that i don't eat for a day probably not there's the reason why is because i look like i eat you know two days worth of food in a day you know this exact thing my mother was the only person who let me get up pick and choose what i wanted to eat but my grandmother would beat me abuse me Dip my head into plates, beat me with wet belts and switches if I didn't eat and would even force feed me. Okay, well, that's a little bit different than most people. That's a little different than uh, what most people um, would consider forcing. You know, mo like with my mom, when she would force me to eat something, it was like, you have to eat this. And then if I didn't, like, she wouldn't give me dessert or something. You know what I mean? Or wouldn't let me watch TV. This is this is intense. This is, inc this is crazy. This is extreme. Um, but okay. People think I eat everything in sight because of my weight, or that I don't eat on purpose because I want to lose weight, and that's not the case. Sometimes I'm just not hungry, or I can't. So I. Okay, well, I mean, just saw this person seems to be an outlier. I'm still a little bit skeptical about them not eating every day. 
because I'm fat and I feel like there's no, I mean, if she's not eating every day, that means that she's massively binging like every other day. Like she's eating a gross amount of calories. And I don't mean gross in a disgusting, although that could work as well. I mean, gross is in a lot. I'm not, I'm not trying to be critical of this person. I'm just saying like, it's hard for me to believe, but this person very clearly is a bit of an outlier. Fundamentally though, like, you know, it's so, you know, I would just say that just fundamentally forcing your kid to eat, you know, that's a very subjective term. Most people, when they say you force somebody to do something, you don't beat the shit out of them with wet belts. It's usually like, hey, no TV for you, mister. Maybe a spanking on the hiney or something. I don't really know. I, I just, this definitely, this definitely threw me for a loop. I'll tell you that much. I feel bad for her or that them. I feel bad for them how did i i mean like how did i know you know what i'm saying how did i know that but okay uh sure